Hi everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm working with Cody Miller on Aridia, The Paths We Dare Tread. And this is the third video in a series talking all about the loot tiles in Aridia and the details about how we're actually building them and creating them. So if you haven't seen the first two videos, please go watch those. This is going to be a really in-depth, detailed look at the way attack patterns are being created. And this is really under the hood how the sausage is made stuff. So it's it's going to get a little a little detailed. If that's interesting to you, welcome. Happy to have you. And if not, absolutely no worries. Uh, see you in the next video. Okay, so what are we looking at here? This is the spreadsheet. I have set it up to be an example for the attack patterns. And I'm assuming you've already watched the other two videos. So you have a sense of why I have this spreadsheet and what's going on with the attack patterns. If we look at the examples I set up, the thing to realize about the attack patterns right now, and this could change if needed, but the way the attack patterns are set up right now is that you should imagine a three by three grid of where the damage points could go. And so in my mental model and in the in the numbering I've used on the spreadsheet, we're using a the the keypad for a keyboard. So what what that means is the bottom left is one and then middle bottom is two and then three is bottom right and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's sort of there are these boxes basically where the where the damage points could go. So what are we looking at here in the in the spreadsheet? This says make an X and one means white, make a white X in position one. And so the keypad, a position one on the keypad is lower left. So this is this is why this is showing up at one. If we look at the next record, this is in the center, that's going to be spot five. So if we go here, this, this next one, sword, short sword two, says make an X, that's white, which is one, in position five. And then the next one is make an X, that's white, in position nine. And so I'll show you the, I'll show you the next one. This is position nine. Okay, so that's just, that's just the fundamental building blocks of what's happening with these attack patterns in the spreadsheet. And so the other thing that can happen, you might not start with an X, you might start with a, a directional strike, either from the west or the east or north, whatever direction you want to do. And so this says in position nine, make it make it come from the, from the west, make it a west, sorry, make it a west pointing strike. And this is make it an east, an east pointing strike. So you'll see these, I'll show you this example. So this is just an X in position nine, this is west in position nine, and this is east in position nine. So that lets us build a ridiculous number of permutations of different attack patterns. I'll show you the ones that were featured in the previous videos. Again, these are all just placeholder, but just so you see a sense of it. This is three points of damage, one at position four, another at position five, another at position six. And those numbers that I'm referring to there, you have to imagine a keyboard keypad, like a numpad that you use to type in. Okay, so let's look at that in the spreadsheet. You can see this is position four, position five, position six. And I want to, to match the threshold. So, you know, we have thresholds here of, of white and gray and dark gray. And so that's what these colors match up to, show, depending on how high of a result the players get. So this is the one, and this is just the naming convention that I made for the file names. One is the white, that's the sort of first threshold. Two is the gray, the medium gray for the second threshold. And three is the dark gray for the third threshold. So we want this to be an east facing strike that's white, that's the one for the first threshold in position four. And that's what, that's what we get right here. And then, the next, the next one has in, in position five, another east facing strike, but this is going to be the middle gray. And that's what we see right here. And then finally, in the sixth position, we have 
an east facing strike that's the darkest gray. That's what that three is. So we see that there. All right, so let's look at the next one. This is the attack pattern. This, this was also shown in a previous video. So it has two white east facing arrows. Then this is a level two threshold, another east facing, and then a south facing arrow that also happens to be piercing damage. So let's look at what happens there in the spreadsheet. So again, east, uh, white, that's the one, and uh, four in, in position four. Another east one in position five. This is east threshold two in position six. And this is a south facing arrow that's piercing damage in position three. So with that, we can basically build any sort of damage pattern we want. So if you if we want to just, for example, try to make a new one right now, I'll, I'll just do it on camera live. I have not practiced this. I'm just going to show you what my workflow would be like or Cody's workflow would be like if we wanted to create another pattern. So let's imagine a Y. Let's imagine a Y shape where the first point of damage is in the very center. The, se the second two points of damage will be the up, uh, up left and up right. And then the last point of damage, if, if you roll really well, will be bottom left. Okay. So, so let's just, let's just try that. So what I would do is, so what I did there was I selected two lines and then I did control D to fill down and then I can, I can change the description, whatever that doesn't matter. Okay. So the first point of damage is going to be an X and it's going to be white and it's going to go in position five because that's the center. I'm imagining the keypad, the numpad in my mind. So that's why I know it's a five. The next point of damage is going to be northeastward, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be level two, the second threshold, and that's going to be in uh, position nine. And then we're also simultaneously going to do a northwest in position seven, in position seven, and this is also going to be a, a level two threshold. Okay, hopefully people are with me so far, and then we will do a south west southwest in position that's the level three threshold in position one okay and we won't make any piercing damage there so that's how long it took me to build that attack pattern which i had never thought of before i just said a y so that people could envision it in advance um, and then what i do is i save this and then i export it as a csv because which is a comma separated values and or comma delim delimited and then we have to update InDesign to say okay yep you have a new you have a new version of the file so i close this no i just saved it excel thank you and then i go over here and InDesign says update data source so i just update it it's going to now it has read the new version of the file, which I just which I just saved. I preview it, and we can see if things went right, and I properly imagined that Y. Um, we can see we can see the Y. So this is sort of a Y shape. That's what I that's what I just built on camera, having not practiced it. So you can see that's pretty fast. And then if I want to take this and I want to add piercing damage because we leveled it up. Um, Let's, let's just do that too. So I'll open, I'll open up the Excel file again. I'll do another version of it. This time I'm going to make, I don't know, a bunch of piercing damage. So this will be piercing and this will be piercing and this will be piercing. Okay. So I just added a bunch of piercing damage it's super fast. I save it and then I export it. So half of this is just like the time to the time to export it. Usually if we're doing a bunch of files at the same time, a bunch of loot at the same time, it, it doesn't take, you know, it's, it's not a big cost to export it. Okay. So I successfully export it. Don't save it. Update the data source. Thank you. InDesign. I preview it. This was my previous design. Now here's the one with piercing damage. Boom. We see the piercing damage. So this is, this took a while to build, but it is a very powerful tool that we now have at our disposal to be able to build any sort of attack pattern that, that we can imagine. Um, I will stay, if, if you want to tune out to the video now, no problem. If you want to see even more details about the Excel spreadsheet and how I'm actually taking those numbers and turning it into 
you know what, I'm going to do a separate video. If you want, if you want even more detail on how I am parsing, and it's really, this would really be an Excel, an Excel video, uh, how I'm parsing this E1 and, or E2 or whatever, and turning it into those specific images in the Excel file, I'll do a separate video on that. And then we'll do one more video, perhaps if, if people are interested on how the centering is happening, because one of the things that, that is not, um, is not obvious yet is you can see that in, in this view, this is neither horizontally centered. You can see that there's a little more over here, a little more open space over here. And it's also not vertically centered because this is a two, it, it has two rows in the pattern. And so it's not currently vertically centered, but in the final version it is, and I can go over, I'll go over that too in another video. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in this level of detail and if not, uh, see you in the next video. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the, in the comments for this video or on the Kickstarter comments. Thanks so much.